All right, guys, one more for today. Double Masters 2022 collector box. What is this, number four? So first thing, I just saw an email that TCG has acquired Channel Fireball, which I don't know what changes that's going to be, but that's uh, that was a shock to me. Um, Channel Fireball has been around forever. I was buying revised singles from them 20 years ago when there was under mint edition underground seas and volcanic islands on there for $50 and I thought they were too expensive so I didn't buy them but we've all been there that's happened to all of us but yeah that's a that's a big change uh, I haven't bought from channel fireball probably in like a year not for really any other reason but I heard uh, people weren't really happy with how they were doing business there were some questionable decisions I heard some rumors and some things that happen so uh that's just interesting i wanted to bring that up uh, in case anyone cares about all the other uh card sites out there and in our last video guys it happened we got a bad double masters collector box can you believe it and uh, i just want to say real quick another thing i noticed there's no set boxes in this set um just draft and collector which how everyone was just fiending over these things i'm really surprised they didn't do a set box but anyway, yeah, we got a bad draft box because we pretty much broke even on the last uh, collector. I'm sorry, the last collector box was bad. So we got a bad collector box. And guess what? It was still like $300 in value. So this was, was in that bad collector box. You got that and the borderless, the orrery, Phyrexian altar foil etched, force and negation borderless foil, Tefri's protection borderless foil. So as you can see here, this is this was a bad box. Like, can you believe that? When do you get, when you get something, a bad box where you break even and you still get like Tefri's protection, force and negation and alter, like it's just nuts, guys. You can't be negative about this set unless things really just tank. Like I was talking in the last video, how like our Olimog, uh, textured foil that was uh $450 the next day it dropped to like 230 like oh my god I still pulled the $230 card out of a $70 draft uh collector pack crime right guys it's terrible um all right let's uh let's just jump into this one I forgot where I was going with that but yeah, that's, uh, guys, it's just, uh, oh, that thing's reprinted again. That's funny. That, that What is that? Uh, Commander Legends and a whole bunch of other sets. Oh, and that's back. What was that? Uh, Core 2021, I think. Probably some sets before that. But, guys, I can't say anything bad so far. Oh, now I remember what I wanted to say. So, like, our our uh, textured foil card, I, I know that dropped, like, $150, which I'm not worried about. But if in a month that thing is worth, like, $50, then we certainly have a problem. But I don't think that's going to happen. So... Let's see what we got here. So we got the Thought Scour. Even in that last box, the so-called loser box, uh, these common, uncommon, borderless, especially the ones in the foil, still literally a few dollars each, which is a big deal because other sets, that just doesn't happen. There's like bulk shit worth under 50 cents, and then there's everything else. So again, there's just value. There's probably commons and uncommons worth money in here that we don't even know about yet. Oh, the Mole Drifter. Nice. That thing's back. I'm surprised that gets play. I think people basically just cast it for the invoke for three mana so they can draw two cards. The Oracle there. Spell Pierce. Very nice. Is that... Is that in Kamigawa? That might be in Kamigawa or New Capenna right now. So interesting. So I assume that is a reprint. Got the Liege there. All right, let's see. Maybe this will be the really bad box, guys. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so Bloom Tender. For each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color. So Commander, I don't know if that's banned. I know some of those heavy uh, mana uh, cards, like uh, that one That one creature, it's like a guy's cradle, that thing's banned. So Planner Bridge Foil Etch. So this thing is nuts. You got to generate a lot of mana for this, maybe in a Tron deck, but... Six mana legendary artifact, eight mana, eight colorless mana, tap it, search your library for a permanent, put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. I was actually confusing this with, is it the Lux Cannon or whatever? It's like tap like eight. One, there's one that's like tap six mana and uh, destroy target permanent. So that's the one that I thought it was. And then gifts ungiven. So I don't know anything about this one right here. Let's see. Uh, I like the artwork. I can tell you that much. So four mana instant. Search your library for up to four cards with different names and reveal them. Target opponent chooses two of those cards. Put the chosen cards into your graveyard and the rest into your hand and shuffle. So, kind of like uh, uh, with that one ultimatum. I, I forget which ultimatum it is. But similar to that kind of. So, very cool there. And is that our last card? Yeah, that is the last one for that pack. 
So, the, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to do. So I wanted to kind of price these out and just leave these here like this. So I want to see if we get any like really bad packs where we would have got really hosed buying the collector pack for like 60 or 70 bucks. And that's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of reprints. And I, got, I know it's all reprints, but commons and uncommons that we've seen recently in sets. So that's a good looking Demiri Aqueduct right there. Very nice. The Rot Farm, like that one too. Uh, Pride Mage. Boris Garrison. Uh, Borderless Foil, so probably a few bucks right there. Then we got Vesna. Vesna, Venser, whatever. So I want to be, uh, or no, what is this? It's not a shapeshifter, is it? Uh... Okay, I thought this is one of those shapeshifter ones. Okay, so whatever. And then Damnation. So one of the few all black uh, board clears next to Blood on the Snow, and there's I think there's a couple other ones, but very nice there. Borderless Damnation again. That artwork, all the effort, finally. And then what do we end this pack with? We get the another. Oh, okay, there was a card behind that, so we got another leads there, and then a, another Bloom Tender, but this time a Borderless Foil on that. So let's put this pack here and just see. Again, I really think, guys, maybe our first two videos, again, we do have uh, additional boxes and packs coming in, so, but I think this case that we have here is that I think we somehow opened the best two possible boxes first, because first two had uh, textured foil, these uh, last two boxes, nothing yet. So we got Eternal, oh, okay, Eternal Witness, very nice. So that's from uh, TSR, I think. I was getting excited. I thought that was uh, something else there. So, okay, right now we're bad right there. That's a good card. Terminate, destroy target creature. Can't be regenerated. Another Rot Farm, Borderless. And then we got an Archangel there. So I haven't seen that one before. I don't know what set that's reprinted from, but very nice. And Thousand Years Storm. So I, as soon as I saw this, I thought of Storm, Storm Carved Coast for some reason. Very similar uh, uh, with that uh, background there on the text. So... This is a six mana enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant or sorcery spell you've cast before this turn. Oh my, can you, oh my, make a commander deck and you kind of copy that like gold span and uh, Lear, Disciple of the Drown. That could get, that could get out of hand. Some arcade, arcade bombardment. Then we got Trader King here. Uh, I, that artwork is probably awesome, but we're kind of losing a little bit of it in that foil edge. So very cool. So that is a mythic. I, uh, I don't think I've even, even been paying attention to that, what's Mythic and what's not in this set, because it seems like a lot of the rares are, are worth more than the Mythic, so very cool there. And then we're going to end with this guy, the Mimoplasm. So, okay, that's a Legendary Ooze right there, very interesting. So, all right. Maybe this will be the bad box, because I feel like we haven't gotten anything crazy yet. Only one Imperial Seal. In the first four boxes, and no, uh, no city of brass yet. I just realized that. That's one I was looking forward to. All right, another spell pierce, very nice. Another Swiss spear. We yeah, got one in the last box, actually. Tree and missionary, whatever. Demir Aqueduct, borderless foil. All right, now we get to the good stuff. Elder dragon there. Dragon lord Dr drama. What I, I don't care what it is. So it's a mythic. It can't be countered. Flying lifelink, your opponent can't cast spells during your turn, so very nice. Again, commander. Privileged position. Other, I, th I think we did get this one in the first box, I do believe. Other permanents you control have hexproof, so very nice. So I don't think... Uh... No, I'm thinking of Shroud. Okay, I'll stop. All right, oh, then there we go. Finally, our City of Brass foil etch. so very nice. Again, I think uh, usually the foil etched versions are usually not my favorite. Is it always the showcase versions that are foil etched? I think so, but uh, still very cool here. City of Brass. I know people look at that, and so whenever you tap this, you take one damage, but you get to add one mana of any color, and biggest thing, doesn't come into play, tapped. So uh, if you're doing like a five color or four color, or I guess any multicolor commander deck, you get this out early, taking that, taking that one damage is not going to be a problem. Let's see what we end with. Let's see Mythic there. And okay, so we got another Trader King. This time the Borderless Foil. So, all right, maybe this was uh, the box where we cool down a lot. But we'll get a price up. Um, I mean, again, like no crazy pulls here. But just look at the artwork. I'm sure we did okay in value. I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. But, uh... Guys, this is fun so far. We got draft boxes coming on the way. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and we'll be back.